Hey, how's it going? I'm Rory from Rammer Time, and welcome to Satisfactory Version 1.0. This is episode 3 in my playthrough on the road to a mega base. And um, yeah, this is our starter base as we've got it right now. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's ticking over quite nicely. We've got our little mini mall over there. We've got our little advanced assembly area over here. And we've got our little power station over there. It's all coming together quite nicely. And today, what we're going to be doing is looking at getting the smart plates into the space elevator because I've got a little production line running for them. And it's moving very slowly, but it gets us our it will get us our 50 pretty quickly. We're also going to probably expand the power a little bit so that it pretty much future proofs this area. Then we'll likely unlock coal and we'll be able to move forward with that. We're also going to do a bunch of optimizing in here just to upgrade some of the belts, get things moving around a little bit quicker. I'm just waiting for these little bad boys here so that I can upgrade to the Mark II belts. And yeah, there's a chainsaw. Put that away. But first, oh, I found something really interesting. Let's jump down. Ow. Right. Down here in my little my little advanced processing factory with my assemblers, I found this little gap down the back here. And I was like, ooh, what's all this about? So I went down to have a look. And it gets a little bit spooky. How cool is this, huh? So we found ourselves a little cave. And in our little cave is a Mercer Sphere. Live, now these do something now. I don't know what yet. Let's find out. The astrobiologist really Dr. Cool. D.M. Mercer was the first to recognize the presence and probable nature of these alien artifacts. These chain melted state spheres are named in his honor. Each sphere emits a unique signal. Research it in the MAM to establish locally appropriate classification and application. Okay, that's interesting then. We've got to research it in the MAM. I can't find the door. How did I get in it? Here? here we go, here we go, I found it. So we're just going to head back over to the MAM now. And let's have a look and see what we've got here. Uh, alien technology. Ooh. The SAM. Ah, right, yes. What used to be called SAM ore is now just SAM... Which is strange alien material, I believe. Let's scan our Mercer Sphere. Mercer Sphere analysis completed. Established local planetary signature of Massage 2, A, B, B, in the local Mercer Sphere signals, allowing them to be tracked by the object scanner. Mercer Spheres can also transmit data between specific... Witness our scripture. Witness our windows. Have you come to defile our shrine? Arguing the <laughs> existence of intelligent alien life. While Fixit has figured out the method, all of the original data is still untranslatable. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So there's something alien going on. That's cool. Um, now this I really want to unlock. I think I don't know how far we are from it because I've no idea how we make one of these things yet, the sand fluctuator. But this dimensional depot, this is it's kind of like the cloud storage foot for parts. So we can place parts into that, and then we can access them from anywhere in the map, which is a game changer. You know, compared to how I used to do things where I was running backwards and forwards and so on. Yeah, that's uh, that's huge. Huge, I tell you. But first, we can actually do this, so let's get some of this going. I've got some of that. I don't have enough, so forget that. We'll come back to that later. Mr. Bean, what are you doing up there? <laughs> anyway, right. So, let's go and see how the smart plates are getting along. So I have 33 right now. That's no problem. We we'll just give it a little while and then very soon we will have a lot more. So something I have just done is I've nipped over here to this Kyterium mine and I'm going to grab me some Kyterium just so that I can unlock some bits in the man. Do it for me my little friends. So also something else uh, I did while I was offline was I unlocked the Blade Runners. So now we can um, well, we can move around a lot, lot quicker. Although I'm making it look really haphazard and awkward at the moment. <laughs> but we can jump higher, we can run faster. And yeah, getting around is just much, much easier than it was before, as you can see. Okay, let's go ahead and unlock the quick wire. And then I'll be able to get the zip line. 
I need a hundred quick wire. Quick wire recipe unlocked. New Caterium research available. All right, we have our quick wire. So let's now go to this one, and we're going to unlock the zip line. Zip line unlocked. When equipped, the zip line facilitates travel along power lines, regardless of whether the line is powered. Note, based on previous Pioneer events, Fixit recommends not using zip lines during thunderstorms and typhoons or while drinking coffee. <laughs> so we just gotta build ourselves a zip line. Here we go. And then we should be able to equip that into our hand. And there it there it is. Oh, it's so cool. Um, and yeah, the idea of this, in case you're not familiar. I don't know how well this will work. There's stuff in the way. Yeah, there's things in the way. But it allows you to whiz around on the uh, the power line. So when you start sort of going out further, you can put power lines in strategic places that I haven't really got any, actually. They're all in really stupid places. Um, but you can put them in strategic places and use them to, to actually get around. So there's, there is one up there, look. So let's just... Just want to give this a try. Come up to here. Oh, it's really short, look. But yeah, that's the idea, and then you you kind of fly off there, and yeah, okay. But we've got it now. That's that's fine. That's all I wanted for the minute. Let's see how we're getting on with the space elevator parts. We have our fifty. It's time to do it. Oh yeah. We're gonna head up to the space elevator and find out what this is all about. Right, 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 right. Here we go, smart plating. In you go. Let's seal the deal. This is all new, all this animation. Oh, it looks great. Welcome to the Project Assembly Pioneer Progress Presentation. Congratulations, the Phase 1 project part shipment is now ready for delivery. On delivery, Phase 1 will be completed and the distribution platform will be constructed. After completion of Phase 1, the technologies of Tiers 3 and 4 will become available in the hub. Highlights are, automated power, steel production, personnel transportation, and many more. Completing Phase 2 of project assembly is your next main objective. New project parts will need to be produced and delivered to the space elevator as you have done previously. Continue to construct, automate, explore and exploit for a better fix-it future. That's so cool. Go on then, send it. Take a step back because I want to be able to see this. Oh wow! Whoa! Phase one of project oh, that is so cool. Completed. This is only the beginning of project assembly. The first step towards the way saving it blew the, the clouds away. You have performed. Look at the size of it. Far. Reminder: Not only is Fixit saving humanity, it is saving all of Earth, including kittens and puppies. <laughs> it is statistically likely that you appreciate the continued existence of kittens and/or puppies. Continue the work for their sake. Continue the work for Fix It. It is time to start the work oh, on Phase wow. 2 of Project Assembly. That is so cool. Oh, look, here it comes again. That is so, so cool. Oh, the clouds are all coming back in. Look. And it's... Oh, that looked really good. Right. Oh, well, I'm really excited to see what, what you know, what's going to happen in the next. It's going to be it's gonna be a lot of work to get there. It's a lot of... Uh, a lot to do to, to get to that next phase then. So phase two, we're going to need a thousand of these. <laughs> so we're going to have to really up the production of that. Wow. The versatile fray works a thousand and a hundred automated wine. And that's probably not too bad, but wow, wow, wow. Okay. We've got a lot of work to do. This is crazy. Okay. <laughs> right. Well, that's that extremely exciting moment out of the way 
Uh, I need to figure out what it is I'm going to do next. I'm wondering whether it's worth upgrading this power. Because I think we've still got plenty. I don't think I need to. Yeah, I've, I've still got quite a lot of... 160 megawatts of buffer room there. Yeah. I could do with speeding up the the production of these, though. That's one thing. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Right. Well, let's, let's have a little thinky here. We need to get proper power underway. So, I think, yeah, we're going to... We're going to have a look at what's next in the tiers. So, tier 3. Coal power. Water extractor. Yep. Scannable coal. Yep. We, we need to find out where coal is. Uh, we actually probably have enough to unlock that already, don't we? No, we don't have enough plates. Yes, we do have enough. So, we could actually unlock that one right now. Uh, then we've got vehicular. So, we get the tractor. I love the tractor. I love setting up little simple runs with that. That's good fun. Steel. And there's that versatile framework. It gives us new shop, shop products as well. Um, and then the bigger Xeno Basher, if we're going out and about, we definitely want one of those. Yeah, we can make that fairly soon because we just need a few more of those. And then in tier four, what have we got? Blueprints. Yeah, I'm thinking actually I really want to prioritize blueprints. But then I need these guys. Ah, oh, there's so much to do. Mark three belts. Big game changer, that is for sure. And as well as the double sized industrial containers. Marks and miners gets coal, get stuff out quicker. There's the automated beam uh, wiring. Automated beams. So loads in there. The power towers and the storage. These were these feel like fairly new to me because I'm pretty sure these weren't really available when I was playing it quite heavily. And then the hyper tubes were getting around nice and quick. So this oh there's so much to do. Lots and lots of fun stuff to do. And to be honest with you, let's start off just by unlocking the coal power. And getting more cable every single time. I just never seem to have enough on me. There we go. Right. Here we go. Ready and aboosh. Milestone reached. Power production can now be fully automated by burning coal, Excellent. which has been added to the resource scanner. Water is also necessary to run the coal-powered generator and will require a network of pipelines to be transported from a water source. To assist with locating and identifying water, Fixit has compiled Oof. this guide. Water oh, it's is a quite a way away. Reflective liquid and it may have thick oh. vegetation growing nearby. To test if something is water, try touching it. If it is not solid and does not corrode your suit, it is probably water. <laughs> okay, so we've got a big job ahead of us because we've got to somehow... Yeah, we need to figure out how to do this power. So we need coal and water. Now I'm thinking that... Oh, I think it was somewhere over here though, wasn't it? I want to head this way a little bit and do another scan because I'm pretty sure there's like a ton of coal over here. But then again, that looks... That might be quite a good spot by the looks of it. Look, we've got pure nodes there. Yeah, that's where there needs to be a, the power station. So yeah, that's where we're going to have to head. So we're going to place a new marker down just here. We're going to call this one Power Station with a capital T. There we go. Now when I look that way, we know our power station is going to be over that way. And what we then do is, is we build it over there and then we just bring some power back here and then we go and decide where we're going to build the actual proper proper base. I need to come up with something for this though. I need to build a foundry and I need to get steel beams and steel pipes back here. If I remember rightly, this is just using uh, yeah iron and coal. That's, that's the other problem. So I need to get some coal back here as well. So I'm going to have to build a road. Oh, there's quite a lot to do. We need to find some iron over here. We might make the coal thing over here too. The coal thing, the uh, yeah. Look, we've got a pure iron node over there, so we could build a little steel factory. So we could build a power plant and a steel factory all together, and then set up, make a little road, and just have it coming backwards and forwards. Because we're not near trains yet. All right, I cannot wait till we get to trains. Right, anyway, there is so much to do; it is ridiculous. But first, it's time to upgrade this little little thing here. So let's go ahead and get the enhanced security. I just noticed the pod is not back yet. <laughs> I didn't realize. Okay, the pod is now on its way back and we get a beautiful view of that incredible sky construction. I wonder if that's going to like really expand out or... I don't know what it's going to do yet. It, you know, it, it might be something to do with the spacecraft in the sky. I don't know why I just said that like that. The spaceship. <laughs> yeah, it might be something to do with the spaceship or something. I don't know. 
But anyway, back to what we were doing. We're going to upgrade this little bad boy here. Baboosh! Milestone reached. The Xeno Basher is a direct upgrade from the Xeno Zapper. Right. In the words of we the engineer that first need? developed this tool, quote, the Zapper kind of electrocutes things, the Basher straight up smacks stuff, while also electrocuting them, unquote. It is beneficial during encounters with aggressive fauna and has been tested thoroughly. The engineer's noble sacrifice for Xeno research will not be forgotten, whoever they were. Well, let's make one then. And get ready for another cool animation. I love this. Here we go. That's so good. There we go. Right. Now we're ready. We are prepared. We just need to empty our pockets a bit. And we're going to go for a little run. We're going to head to the power station. And we're going to find out what it's all about. So, we're going to put some of this back. Actually, or are we? Shall we keep hold of that? Because that could be rather useful. Let's go for a run and see what we can find on the route to the power station. In the dark. Well, the first cool thing I've found is a slug right here. And a person that's just on the top person, is it? What is that? There we go. I don't, know, I don't know what you call it. So it's a blue power slug. We'll grab that. Are we heading into the red forest? Is that what this is? I can't remember, you know. Hello, hello. I can hear something growling as well. And here is our first hard drive. Wonderful. Damaged hard drive successfully acquired. All pioneers are contractually obliged to preserve and secure any recovered hard drives for analysis in the MAM, which may result in benefits to the Fixit mission. Speculation as to why there are crashed freighters in your Fixit designated zone is discouraged as specified in your contract. Right, unfortunately the game just crashed on me just then, so I've just had to uh, get back to where I was, and now I'm being... We have a pure coal mine. Now, I'm just looking at the size of this body of water. Now, it's not actually that big. So, it kind of makes me think, is this the best place? Because, yeah. I don't know. Okay, so I've had another thing. And I'm thinking, it's something like three, three water extractors per every eight. Where are they? Power. For every eight of these, you have three water extractors. There it is. If we could fit six, that would give us 16 coal generators. And they give us 75 megawatts each. I will do it. 16 times 75. So that'll give us 1,200. So that'll be three times more than we have right now. And it'll basically be permanently running. So this is where we're going to build our power facility. And that's going to be the key focus for today, I think. Uh, getting this power facility done and built. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's see what we can do. And there we go. <laughs> so, again, I've been busy. Let's go and have a look. See what we've been up to. Oh, we have a parachute now. It was helping getting around. <laughs> so this is the new power plant that I have been building. It's just heading down this way. So it is actually, it's quite a mega building. But it's actually fairly straightforward. So, even though uh, there's there's eight um, water extractors down there, but I'm only using six of them because basically you use six per eight. So I have my sixteen uh, coal generators up here, being fed by the six water extractors downstairs, and each one is getting a feed of coal out of this over-the-top setup just out the back here. It's like a special room. It's kind of but it's not, no, it's not load balancing at all, actually. It's, um, you call it manifold. Um, but basically what we're doing is we're taking two feeds in and then each feed is being distributed to each of the coals, the generators. And the maths are pretty straightforward. Each one is 15. So for eight, it's 120. So therefore I've got two full 120 belts going to come in and that's going to load up that. The, uh, let's just get over here. They are over here. These are the two miners that are going to be sending over the coal. And that is actually now what I now need to do 
is to set up something to get that down there. Everything else is pretty much set up. In terms of the layout of the building, it's kind of future-proofed. I've prepared it because I haven't unlocked a lot of like the the factory panels and the bits and pieces. Like I want glass, I want a roof that has uh, angles and yeah, there's lots I want to still do to this. It needs a nice grand entrance and I'm still not sure exactly how to do that yet. These, I want a glass panel like that, that kind of goes underneath those and yeah, so it finishes all that off. So it's kind of, it's going to be functional for now and then I'll make it look super slick later. But I have to admit from this view here, I think it does look really cool. <laughs> Another job that I'm going to do is pave a lot of this. I'm going to make this area into uh, like a bit of a road because there is a almost straight route back that way, back to the main base. And I want to have a tractor bringing coal, or a couple of tractors that bring coal to the main base. Actually, it won't be just coal, will it? It'll be a couple of tractors bringing from the steel because I'm going to set up a steel factory over here somewhere. There's a there's an iron node. Let's have a quick look actually. Yeah, there we go. Look. Yeah. So there's a pure iron iron node right on top of us. So we can actually build it. I might even build it. It might even be in this little spot here. It's a bit sloped. Or I might build it into the side of that mountain or some something interesting. I like to do something interesting anyway. Like I say, I'm looking forward to getting this built properly. This is going to look really cool. But I need to unlock some more stuff. I need to get some more tickets. Excuse me, Bean. Um, so for now, though, let's get these belted up. And again, just for the time being, I'm just going to... Hello, I'm stuck in a berry. I'm just going to run it like this. And I'm going to make it all nice and pretty later on. Now, I'm not quite sure how I'm actually going to start this up because we haven't got any power over here yet. <laughs> so the miners won't work. I think I'm going to have to chuck in like a small biomass burner setup just to act as a kind of jump starter. I uh, just realized as well I've done this the wrong way around. Yeah, Rory, that's going to be ugly. Right, okay. It's going to have to be like that. Yeah, this is this is pretty rotten, actually. I'm not, I'm not very happy with this, but... I want to see if it all works. Just quickly, before we actually start this up, I was just going to show you that, that the... Uh, again, this is another thing that I absolutely love doing, is the power. I've set up the power so that it is very neat and all done across the top of a catwalk. And that is literally just by taking these and placing them in the in the key positions along the along the underside of the catwalk, and they don't actually show through the top, so that's really good. Um, and in terms of the positioning of the these, um, we have a catwalk that goes across there to make that kind of look pretty nifty. We've got a bit of a view through to our water extractors down below, and then if we come to here, the way this is all working is it's just really simple pipes. So basically, one extractor does three, then another extractor does another three, and then the other extractor does two. That should work fine. Now, the one thing I don't have installed yet, which I will need, is pumps down here. Because this setup down here, again, it's pretty neat, but we're going to need pumps here. Okay, so just here we're going to place down two biomass burners. I'll be doing it manually, so I'm not worried about the, um, the feeds in. There we go. That should be enough to give us some coal starting out from here. There it goes. Right. So that's the first part, is it's going to fill up with coal. Yeah, that should be fine. And what we will do is we will start bringing some power down. Didn't mean to connect that. <laughs> Whoops. Need to quickly run back up because, yeah, I've just turned off me, me biomass burners by connecting that when I didn't mean to. Oh, no, they're, they're running. Oh, that one's off. Okay. So, we're going to quickly head back. I just want to double check that my system over here is all good. See, how cool is this going to look once I sort of shape that and add some glass in there? That'll be well good. Excuse me, Bean, you're right in my way. No, yeah, that's it. Oh, you're as bad as my cat. Yeah, that's it. And stop exactly where I'm looking, you moron. Right. Okay. Right, that is excellent. Okay, good. Okay, so that's good. This is priming the uh, 
This is priming it all nicely. Now we need to somehow get the um, the water extractors running. So again, I might just put a temporary burner here. I don't know. I, this probably won't be enough. We'll see what this does. Yeah. So I can connect it into my main power grid, which I'm pretty sure will power it. If it doesn't, I've got a long way to go back to fix it. We're going to try it anyway. Here we go. Oh, we've got lights. Okay. Yep, we're filling up. Filling up. Right, pumps are on. Ah, ha, 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 look at that, look. Pumps are starting to go. These ones are moving. We, we, it looks full, right. I have to use the ladder because I haven't built the main entrance yet, obviously. Let's head up and just see. Do we get smoke from the stacks? <gasps> we do! We're getting smoke from all stacks. We've got water here all the way to the end. Everything is filling up. Even the back ones already. This is really good. Oh, wow. Brilliant. So we've got a couple. Oh, no. There they go. It's, it's probably just all balancing itself out. Oh, this is really cool. That will all back up eventually. Bean is being silly. This looks fantastic. We've got water in all three of those pipes. It looks like we've got water in all of those. Fantastic stuff. We have ourselves a grid. And let's have a quick look here. Capacity. Oh, it's, it's, it's coming on and off. So there's a couple then. We're obviously a couple that are struggling to stay, yeah, struggling to stay lit. But that's where my consumption is. That's what I'm producing. And that's what I could potentially produce. So this is really good. Once this has kind of all leveled itself out, this will be perfect. And that looks awesome. This is going to be such a cool building. I can't wait to get working on this. So there we go. That is, I think, it for this one. That is a, a heck of a start on that uh, power station. It just needs a little bit of time just to get itself settled, get all the water running in and everything. So far, it looks like it's coming together really quite well. Can't see any real problems. So that's good. So that will make a really smart little building and that will keep me running well into the mid game where I will then, I will expand and build something even bigger. But yeah, no, this, this is good. This will keep us going for the time being. So what I'll be doing in the next episode will be a small bit of refinement on this. Just make sure that everything is running as it should. I'm going to make a start on the steel building, which I'm going to probably build down here somewhere. And I'm going to look to start paving a road between here and the main base. So that when we unlock tractors, that's going to be what's bringing the stuff that's being made here. The coal the uh, and the steel things. That's going to be bringing them all back to the main base for me, for now, until we get started proper. So, I'll be aiming to get started proper once I've finished unlocking probably tier 4. Then we'll, when we'll start on the big mega base, which I don't know where I'm going to build it yet. It might be out in the desert, it might be somewhere else. Still haven't decided. Either way, it's going to be a fun, exciting journey. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please press like. Also, subscribe, hit the bell, all of the wonderful, brilliant stuff. And don't forget, comment with an idea for that doggo's name. So if I can find him again, I'll make sure we give him a name. Cool. All right, cheers then. Bye for now.